Hi everybody, this is Steve Krause and welcome to Writing 328 uh, WI Writing Intensive um, um, Writing Style and Technology for um, Winter 2017. Um, this is the online version of the course and what I'm going to do here in this little video is I'm going to walk you through some of the highlights of the syllabus and uh, show you a little bit of how the course is set up and then ask you to like down below there um, introduce yourselves everybody so I'm looking at my computer right now and I'm looking at the syllabus and you should probably do the same thing um, at, on your computer where you're going so um, anyways in terms of me uh, I'm in my office is in Prairie Herald um, if you want to meet with me I'm here on Wednesdays but Sometimes I meet with online students and sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on what, their schedule, what your schedule is like. Um, but I can meet with you uh, for sure in person on those Wednesdays at 11 to 3.30, probably at other times too, and also with online students. I can meet with you either via something like Skype or Google Hangouts or something like that if you, if you want to chat. Um, <clears throat> this is the course description. This course is about this notion of what is style. What, how does it sort of figure into writing and rhetoric in a bunch of different ways. There's two required books. One is the Strunk and White Elements of Style, and then the other one is Style, um, The Basics of Clarity and Grace by Joseph Williams and Joseph Bizzop. Actually, it's really originally by Joseph Williams and Revised. I have uh, these these pictures here and links to the Amazon uh, a version of, well, you can buy them from Amazon, but you can buy them from a bunch of different places. Um, do get those particular versions of the book. There's a, there's other versions of particularly this Williams book that um, you shouldn't get. You should get this one. And you can get the illustrated version of Strunk and White, but otherwise get the one that's sort of silver like this. Okay. The other thing that you need to do that's important, there's two other things that you should do that are important. The first thing is is that others because there's a lot of things we'll be reading that are PDFs and you should have some sort of way of reading your PDFs um, don't just read it on the screen so if you there's basically two ways to do it one way to do it is the old-fashioned way which is to print it out and take out a pen and take notes on it and things like that the other way is if you have some piece of software that you can take notes on like an iPad or something like that these readings are too complicated to just read on your phone, and they're too complicated to just read on the screen without taking any notes. So you got to do something to take some notes with it. The other thing that I want to mention that I'm experimenting with this semester is in addition to um, uh, the, the books, you need to sign up for a subscription to a service called Eli Review. We'll start figuring out how to do this um, as the class gets started. But this will be cost $25, um, and it's a service that we'll be using to really facilitate peer review in some interesting ways. Um, we'll get to the details of that in a little bit. One thing I always like to highlight here is the notion of the way that the online class works, the format of it. Um, 328 online is not a self-study class. It is not something that you should do at your own pace. Rather, it's an online class, which means that it allows us a lot of freedom in terms of when we when you can interact with it and things like that but it is not the kind of online class that you can just do it whenever you want okay and um there's two really important implications about this the first is is in terms of online attendance and the online format you have to be present during the course of the semester every week and if you're absent that is you don't appear in any of the comments discussion forums for a, uh, for four times, I will dock you 30% um, of, your, of your grade for participation. That is, if you're completely gone between Monday and Wednesday and between Wednesday and Friday, I'll dock you for participation. Okay. If you do that more than five times, um, you'll you won't be able to pass the course. The reason why this is important is because I've had students in the past who've basically just been gone for a month and then they came back and wondered why that would be a problem, and that is a problem. The other thing about the online class that's really important is, is that you have to be uh, computer savvy enough on your own to do it. I can't come to your house and lend you tech support, and really the kind of tech support that you're going to get from EMU is pretty basic. So if you've never taken an online class before, um, you've, you, I'm not saying that you can't do it because of course you can, but just if you're, if you're not comfortable with working with computers and you haven't taken an online class before, you might want to think about, is this a good idea for me to do this instead of taking a face-to-face -face version, okay? Under no circumstances am I, will I accept an excuse like, I don't have access to the internet, or my computer broke, or my significant other took the computer, or 
or anything like that. And furthermore, if you're doing something like traveling this semester and you're going to some place where there's not internet access, that's going to be a problem too. So just keep all that stuff in mind as the semester gets going so that you make sure that you're in the right place in terms of an online class. Okay. Uh, the online discussions were 250 points of the semester and, and I describe what this is here. You'll get, we'll get into the hang of it very soon. You'll see what I mean. Basically, the most important thing about uh, the online discussion is you need to post on time and you need to interact with other people in your, in your posts and discussions, okay? So um, you want to be able to like have an initial post and you won't be able to see other people's comments on a particular reading or discussion until, your post, until you write your post. And then you also want to um, respond to other people. You, this is the whole idea of the online discussion part of it is it's supposed to replace the kind of discussion that we'd have in a face-to-face -face class. Okay, um, That's for 250 points. There are two uh, grades um, um, that I divide in half in terms of you know 125 for the first part of the semester, 125 for the second half of the semester, and um, hopefully that'll make sense as we get to it. The peer review with Eli Review is the new thing that I'm trying out this semester. It's going to be worth 150 points. You'll see how this shows up in the schedule when I start talking about that in a second. Um, but again, that's an important part of, of what the course is about. Because, it's the, because the course I'm trying to emphasize this semester is the importance of how we think about revising our writing um, is really key to growing as writers. Okay. Uh, there'll be a required series of required blog posts that are worth a, 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 a total of 100 points. Um, these blog posts are not write about whatever you want. These blog posts are based on particular specific prompts um, that I'll be giving you. And there's three major writing assignments that are worth a total of 150 points. Um, we'll be starting with the first one very, very soon, a parody uh, imitation remake of Style Guide. Uh, the second one will be an, an essay about uh, style and genre conventions of a particular website. And the third one will actually be a revision of either the first two assignments or if you want to offer a different um, uh, essay to revise for the class and you want to talk about that, um, and plus along with that revision, a shorter essay in which you uh, discuss this revision. Okay. Um, there's also a final for the course. The final is only worth 50 points. It's actually um, a final that has to do with the way that this course figures into the accreditation process for would-be secondary school teachers. Um, it's a very, very easy final. Um, as long and the, and I guess the best way to put it is, as long as you do the final, um, it cannot hurt your grade. You'll see what I mean when we get to it um, at the end of the semester. In order to pass the course, you must complete all the major writing projects and the final, regardless of any grade that you receive for any other components of the course. So if you decided, for example, to just not do the final, then you would not pass. And this is the way that the grading scale works out. Um, some, some details in terms of the fine points and stuff, things like that. You'll notice here this part about the assignment summary. There's some weird uh, dates and things like that. That's because I haven't changed everything on the canvas shell so don't take a lot of you know don't pay much attention to that okay so that's a run through the syllabus now quickly about the way that the course works now the way that i set up this course the entire calendar for the semester is on the main page of the course okay so everything from here goes all the way down now not everything is linked yet you know i'll, I'll talk about that in a second but the point is is that when you want to figure, a lot of times people, what students will do is they'll click on, say, the assignments, or they'll click on, say, uh, the discussion, or things like that. And I wouldn't encourage you to, I would encourage you not to do that. I would encourage you instead to click on where it says home, find the date, and then click on the links that are associated with that. So, for example, here we are, January 4th to January 6th, so the class intros, class intros here, and, you, well, now there's a video there, but... <laughs> I'm making the video that I'm going to put in that spot, but this is a blank spot, okay? Um, uh, go back home. We're also going to be setting up WordPress. This is where the link for you explain that. And we're also going to be setting up, signing up on for Eli Review. This is where I explained that, okay? Um, and that's how it progresses through the semester. So next week we'll be getting into more of the intros, sign up for Eli and things like that. The first two blog prompts will be due. You see this here, blog prompt one and blog prompt two. And we'll, our first sort of discussion will get started as we will watch and review. Well, it's not showing up there right now for you, but it, we'll watch 
a uh, video and talk about that because it's a video about what rhetoric is, okay? And this is pretty much how the course progresses, right? So just a sort of overview of what's here so far, I have mapped out pretty clearly the first unit of the course uh, which goes up until, um, you know, well, the, fir the, the first, most of the first unit of the course um, um, in terms of things that we'll be getting to pretty soon. Things that don't have links yet, we'll have links to them very soon. I just haven't set them up yet. Um, and then you see here that the first project, first essay project is due on the Wednesday before winter break. Okay. You'll also start seeing there's some things here that says about TBA, uh, to be arranged. Um, these are some other readings and discussions that we'll be getting to uh, sooner than later, okay? So that's how the course sort of progresses. In, in the next unit here in terms of some of the readings about um, genre and di the discourse community assignment, this is going to be due on uh, March 20th. And then the last assignment, which has to do with revisions and things like that, that is going to be due um, the last day of class, which is April 19th. And then the final is due on April 25th at 12 p.m. All right, I think that that's a pretty decent start. So um, again, welcome aboard, and whatever questions, introduce yourself below, and please ask some questions about um, what I've just gone over and, and other, anything else you want to know about the class. All right, thanks. Welcome aboard.